Hello everybody, VStark here, and welcome back to our channel. Today, I will be starting a new series called the Random Game Series. In this series, I will be playing mobile games, mostly. I will try to find some non-mobile games I can also play, but it's mo mostly going to be mobile. And I will be playing random games that I find in the App Store. And today, I will be starting with one of my favorite idle games, which is called Shortcut Run. Let's just get right into the video. So, I will start off these videos by just explaining the gameplay and explaining how to play the game. So, in this game, you just run across the water and or open space and on the platforms. On the platforms, there are these wood planks that you have to grab in order to be able to cut across water. And the goal is to get the best ratio of land and open space and platforms to try to... Make your way as far as you can. As you can see, I just finished this round, and I got extra. I got a chance to get extra coins. I was able to get the time fifteen, which is the best, and I got one thousand five hundred coins. So that run I did very well, and that is just one way and the normal way to play the game. But I will be showing you some cool features of this game and more ways and more strategies for this game. So now I will be showing you a new strategy, and it is the trolling strategy. In this one, you collect as many wood planks at the beginning, and then you immediately cut across. It wastes all your planks, but you do get a head start, and you get to use the trolling strategy. And this, what you do, is a feature that I didn't show in the last run, where you can... Give me a second. Knock other people off. Like, just like that. And then I'll try to turn around so I can knock off more people. And the strategy is try to knock everybody off. And I'll also show you another cool feature about this. So as you can see, just like last round, there are these. I can go across these if I want, but I'm not going to for the purpose of this feature. So what I'm going, this feature shows that after you cross the finish line, if you get first, you get to keep collecting wood planks. It's just interesting because most games would not allow that. So this is just a fun feature that you can still have, that if you either A, are the only one left in the arena, or B, haven't crossed the finish line, or um, got first, then you still have an open space. So it's just really fun to explore. It does go on. I have have tried. Just go on as long as I can. And if you like this video, I will make more like it. But if not, it's fine. But now I will be. Sh I got a ton of wood planks, and so I will just now get to the fourteen because there's another interesting thing I want to show you. I got to the fourteen, but but then if I touch any of these, so and then after I touch the time two, if I just fall into the water, I still get times two. Now as you can see, my guy is not here. This is another cool feature that he'll just come from where he is so this will lead into my next cool feature about this game almost a glitch okay so as i said in this run we will be showing off a kind of glitch but i also be showing you this new strategy as you just saw i ran backwards to start and that is because there are more planks backwards which is also very interesting that there is a place behind you that you can go and then you collect as many planks as you can at the beginning and then charge across the water Depending on the arena, this can be a great strategy, but most arenas, this is not a very good strategy for, but still, it is very fun, and you can get the closest games ever in this. And this is it. So now I'll be showing you a new strategy, which was that. That was actually a different feature than what I was planning to show you, but it's fine. That is the feature where I didn't quite make it to the first place platform. I landed on top of the bridge, which normally in gameplay, you can go across bridges and you'll just do it. But when you land on top of the bridge with no platforms left, after you've already crossed the finish line, it will take you to the place that you've already been to. It's just very interesting. So if you run out of planks, it's like you fall in water. You immediately teleport back. Now I will go forward and show you another cool feature that is kind of related to the last two. All of these glitches have to do with the end. 
Okay, so as I said, I will be showing you another cool feature. And this will also be the last one of this video. So if you like it, then please like and subscribe. And if you if not, then give it a thumbs down. I am open to your su suggestions. But I don't care. So I cross the finish line and I'm in first. I'll go back and collect some more wood planks. So then I will go and just die. I cross the finish line with a good number of flanks, a good stack, and you'll see why that's important. I'm just going to die, and you'll take me back to the seat, as it normally does if you fall off after for crossing the finish line. And... So, you didn't see that because I cut it out, but as you can... But my entire guy just went back and collected all of the wood planks that I had originally. So, this basically proves that... He went back and did the entire course again. So this is the one that I'll end on because it's just really cool that your guy kind of turns into a computer after he dies. If he crosses the finish line before he dies. So it's just kind of interesting. And I feel like that's the most interesting thing I could find in this game. So I will end this video on that. And I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.